belt that's come off that already, just over here. Here's all the, all the neat, all the, all the uh, dirt and neat felt that's come off it. G'day y'all, uh, welcome back to another ash application video. Uh, today what we're going to do is a refurbish uh, a well um, pretty much destroyed uh, slouch app. So if you remember uh, back to a couple of videos ago, uh, we made up, we bought a new hat for Benno. Young Benno there he is there. And uh, because he had misplaced his original slouch app, uh, well, guess what? He found it. All right, and that's not it. So here it is. That's his slouch app that he's found. Uh, so he must have kept that in the cupboard, under the bed, or you know maybe maybe in a matchbox. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, refurbish this uh, and get it up to a state where um, it can be at least uh, displayed with uh, the dignity that it deserves. So we'll see how we go. Uh, fingers crossed. All right. So what we're going to do for the refurbishment, uh, what we're going to use is some of the implements you see in front of you. We've got a, a clothes brush with um, stiff bristles there. And uh, that, that's actually featured in, uh, I think, one of the first videos I did about um, how to clean your slouch up. So you can use that. Uh, we've also got a softer uh, horsehair type brush there as well. We've also got sandpaper. That's a 240 grit. Uh, that's only if we really need it, because some of the patches uh, on the slouch hat may need a little bit more um, sort of a, a braise of uh, substance to get um, to what is on there off. Um, and from there, what we're going to use is perhaps a combination of methylated spirits and also water shield. But what we've also got, uh, once we get that up to, and hopefully to a, a reasonably flat and uh, rebashed condition, is actually use the, uh, the purpose uh, made uh, felt hat cleaning spray, the cleaning sponge, which is quite a coarse sponge, and also the felt hat rain and stain protectant. Um, so those, those two are commercially available and these ones um, are available as well that you can use in lieu, in lieu of. You don't have to go and buy a $27 or $30 uh, kit. Uh, you can use these items and use that before. Methylated spirits, you can also use uh, rubbing alcohol. That's another thing that you can use to um, stiffen and clean the rim of the hat. Anyway, so what we'll do with the first part is we'll actually... Um, We'll actually soak the brim. We'll work on the brim first. We'll undo the clip here. Soak the brim in uh, warm water, um, and, we'll, and pretty much the same uh, technique that we use to bash it, we're going to use on the brim. So soak it in uh, warm water, and, and we'll soak it there until it's quite malleable, which which to me will mean probably a, a, at least 12 hours. Um, it really doesn't hurt, like these are a, an Akubra, it doesn't really hurt the Akubra, they're a really tough and um, hardy hat, they're made of um, fur felt, so a rabbit pelt, or rabbit fur, they're made out of, uh, they're very hardy and uh, they can take all that sort of um, um, abuse or um, toughness from, from the technique that we're going to use, because actually they're, they're manufactured using uh, steam and hot water, all right, so that's how they're made. So we're just going to take it back, flatten the brim out, and see how we go from there. All right, so let's see uh, what we can get off uh, from the slap hat just by using the stiff, or the coarse brush. Okay, so we're going to brush it both ways, uh, both with the felt and, and against it, just to get all of that, um, you know, 30 years of whatever else is on there. Uh, so when we start uh, getting to the finished part of the um, finishing touch of cleaning it, we'll actually go with the, uh, the grain of the uh, fur felt, uh, which is usually anti-clockwise. But you'll notice that um, you'll notice that when you um, start brushing it, you'll actually see uh, the felt 
stand up or will lay down. And if it stands up, you're going the wrong way. If it lays down, then that's the best way of doing it. Right, so it's coming off pretty well. Um, from, from what we've done already, um, it's not bad at all. So there's uh, not a lot of stains left on there, so that's a good sign. Um, there's a lot of so there is some staining on the actual band on the um, perimeter of of the of the hat on the outside. Um, we can pay a little bit more attention to that after we've um, got it flat, and we can start using our um, stain removers and all that sort of thing. What we want to be careful of is because this is really, really stiff, you don't want to be trying to force it um, because you can uh, crack it. That's how, that's how, um, that's how dry it is. You know? So you just keep using the, uh, the coarse brush on it. See how we've got, that, we've got a rip there in that leather. That's how dried out it is. Really, really stiff. That leather band there. Um, so when we get up to that stage, um, we'll, we'll put some leather conditioner on it and uh, work that in. Probably several coats. And see, there's a lot of grime in there, sitting on someone on his head, sweat and whatever else. Um, Get to the one after we finish the outside. So there we've done, we've just done a, a quick brush. That didn't take long either with that stiff brush. Um, we do have a one little sort of spot here. Uh, we might just try and use our sandpaper. Uh, 240 grit. Let's see if I can get you in there to see that. Just a little bit there. And you just want to just gently rub it with the sandpaper. And it's starting to come off. So that's good. So like I said, they're very, very hardy, the, um, the Akubras, so you can, um, you can apply a little bit of pressure on there. And that's, that's come away, that's nice, so that works out really well. Alright, so they're nice clean there. What I'll do is I'll give it just another uh, brush with the, um, the softer brush, the horsehair brush. And you can see all the... See all the felt that's come off that already, just over here. See all the, all the neat, all the, all the dirt and neat all the felt that's come off it. Right, so just working uh, in clockwise now with our soft brush. Quite a, it's quite a um, difference from, from where we first started to where we're at now, and that's only like five minutes into it, so you can't do it, it doesn't work. Um, now, now to the next stage now, we'll just soak it in water. Now, because of the dirt that's still probably in there, and plus of the, the actual um, the colour of the uh, felt itself, I expect the water to go a similar, very similar colour. See what happens after you dump it in there. Uh, probably need some more uh, more cleaning uh, when we get it out. Uh, I'll run the, the soft brush over it as well, just to clean it up a bit. Right, next step, water. Well, no, so it's only been in here for about, oh, let's say five minutes. Um, and um, straight away you can notice that, especially this side here that was really stiff and curled up, um, it was a lot softer now. So that's really going to benefit uh, from a good soak. Uh, and we'll come back and revisit that um, about the same time tomorrow. So it'll probably be in that, it'll be in that water for at least... Um, at least 18 hours. Rightio, so we'll just let that sit overnight. Um, it's, not, it's not too bad, it's still a little bit stiff, which should be enough to um, in a condition where we can safely iron that. So let's take him out. All 
Alright, so that's not too bad. We should be able to make some progress with the iron. So let's take him into the ironing room and see how we go from there. Into the ironing room now. Um, left the towel on the ironing board there because it's still uh, a little bit damp. I don't want too much water to go onto the ironing board cover. And place, so we've, we've placed our damp. Um, Rag over the top of it so I'm not ironing directly onto the hat itself. So I'm applying um, a bit of pressure when we do that. Uh, and uh, as well as a lot of steam, so the steam button on the iron is fully depressed when the wind is. And as you can see, those large corrugations are starting to, and, and large mounds are starting to flatten out. Uh, they, they, they react really well to steam and water. So after we've given it a, a couple of passes with the steam iron and direct pressure, uh, we're then going to place it down onto the floor and place some uh, heavy items on the outside, on the, on the brim. Ideally, we could place that into uh, a slouch hat carrier. Uh, but because the uh, brim is still uh, relatively damp, especially on the underneath side, uh, I don't want too much water going into the slouch hat carrier itself. So we're just placing them onto the floor and place some flat and heavy objects onto the brim. Alright, so let's see what that looks like now. Alright, so it's really nice and soft now. So let's um, chuck him on the floor and put some weight on, put some weight on him. let that sit and then dry and we'll go on with the next part of Alrighty, it. Alrighty, so we've just taken the slouch hat off um, and away from our flat and heavy weight. So let's just have a examine the brim um, as we go around. We can still see some indentations here. It's still a little bit damp, but that's fine. So we're definitely going to have to give that a, a bit more of a clean and then also fix up uh, the small indentations that have remained there, and we'll go back to do it to, with the uh, steam line and, and pressure and then method as well to sort that all out. But uh, so, what we'll do now is we'll uh, let the crown soak uh, just by placing it back in water, and then we'll give that a rebash. So just drag that out of the, the bucket. Let's have a look at it. Crown, it's quite soft. We should be able to do something with that. All right, so let's give it a go. Right, so let's give it a quick clean on those places that we couldn't reach before. Uh, when it was in its hardened state.
don't know. So up to the stage now, we've, we've been mucking around with it and pushing it in and out and getting up to a state where we think we should be ready to place the hardening agent, which we're going to use is our metho. So we just place the metho into the atomizer here and just spray that on. I'm not going to worry too much about the brim at the moment because once the crown is hardened then I can give the brim another clean um, before I come back and place the hardening um, running protector on it. So that's how it works really well. And once we place the metho on there, we just keep giving it a um, massaging it around, getting all the, making it as smooth as we can. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to place on um, some bulldog clips on the crown here to keep it pushed in. So it dries, it'll dry into that state. See the, how you've got the holes in the top of the crown there. You don't want the, the this indentation here, this bash, to go um, too much lower than the actual holes because then it tends to fall in below the line of the puggery when you put the puggery on. So you always use that as a guide. Right, let's have a look and see how it hardened after leaving the clips on there. Yep, and as expected, the bulldog clips did leave an indentation there. We can just um, brush that out. Let's go around. It's quite hard. So it's good. You can see it's not falling in on itself. Yeah, it's quite nice. We'll keep brushing it though. Around this side, you can see the slight corrugations there, so we'll definitely line that room again. So next step from here, after giving this a bit more of a clean, um, I will iron the brim again. I don't need to show you that. Um, it's essentially the same as the last couple of times we've done it. Right, so just giving it another quick iron. Uh, what I'll do now while it's still um, relatively soft, I'll place some starch on there as well. So I heated it up, placed some starch on there. Let that time to soak in and then gave it another iron over the top of it. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just spray some method onto the brim. I'm not going to apply, apply too much over onto the uh, left hand side because that's the side that we're going to fold up again. So I don't want that to be too hard because I don't I want that to fold properly. But I will apply some more to you. This side of the hat here. And once we've done that, we're going to place it back under our uh, weights, uh, the flat surface. And uh, just let it soak in and then dry. And then we can go on with hopefully the final part, which is giving it a final clean with the, the sponge and the cleaning fluid. Righto, so we're back. We just um, took all the uh, weights off it after we let it sit. Um, we've still got some um, places to clean there on the brim. Um, so we'll do that with their cleaning spray. Um, hopefully that comes off without too much damage to the band itself. And just go over the rest of the hat and see if we can fix it on.
all those corrugations are starting to fade, which is really good. So it's coming up nicely. Right, so we're on to the felt hat cleaning. Now we'll use a sponge. So we have been using 240 grit, uh, what I'll do is I'll just step it down and use a 120 just to get to these little stubborn stains in here and see how we go. Let's have a look at our progress thus far. So we've run the clean up. We still have these large bits here now. I hit these with uh, 120 grit sandpaper as well. And uh, it's it's pretty much ingrained to the hat, so that, that's not moving too much. Um, you see the, a little slight damage that we had here to the, the banding, uh, the age of the, of the hat, and whatever was was on there, it was just um, deteriorated it. Uh, but as we work around it, it hasn't come up too bad, uh, considering the age. So we've got those slight corrugations there. And once again, what we'll do is um, we'll add some more uh, metho uh, to the brim. And once again, put him on to our weights and let him sit down a bit. Uh, it's coming off the rock. Well, so on to the next stage, what we've done now, we've just placed an old puggaree onto the hat and you can see that, and this is why you just get a new puggaree whenever you're changing your colour patches. The colour patch previous was longer than this colour patch, so you can see the uh, the mark that it left there. Alright, so we place the colour patch on and that is actually from a, well you can tell me what unit that's from. Uh, the next part we're going to do is we've placed our rising sun badge on. I uh, always use a, um, a clear ruler to measure. That allows you to get a, an accurate measurement while seeing what you're doing at the same time. Um, now with the uh, when we're placing the um, brim up into the, the raised position, uh, always make sure that we have the, the large part of the square facing upwards. Uh, you can turn it around the other way, but I find this way is better. Now with the, um, onto the clip on the side of the hat itself, um, what we're going to do is just going to use a little bit of WD-40 onto a cotton bud uh, and just give that a wipe over.
you don't need a great deal on there um, just so it's got a little bit of lubrication there and it doesn't look as tarnished I mean you can polish these up with Brasso but what tends to happen is Brasso st sticks into the little nooks and crannies there and turns to green and it's just another uh, arduous job to get off so just I find it's a little bit easier if you use uh, WD-40 all right, so we're just going to roll it up now. You don't, you don't fold it or anything. It's just quite simple. You just roll it up, tucking the clip onto the, the edge there and pushing down until it locks in. That's it. That's all it is. All right, so we're going to let it dry um, back into its um, hard, hardened surface. What we might actually do is place it into a uh, slouch hat carrier and let it dry in there because the slouch hat carriers that we have um, allow you to turn the wing nuts onto the um, the side there and just apply a really good deal of pressure on there so whilst it's in this state uh, that's what we'll do So there we go, we just placed it into the uh, slow chat carrier and just really wound, uh, wound it in there, placed a lot of pressure on there. We'll let, we'll let that sit there for a, for a day or so to dry. Alrighty then, so we're almost finished. The last part we have to do, uh, we've taken the, uh, the head out, it's dried really well. Um, all those areas of the corrugations are starting to flatten out really well. Uh, but what we'll do now is we'll place on the last bit, which is our rain and stain protection. Now I've never used this one particular one before, so what I'll do is I'll just try it on the inside of the brim, see how that turns up. Uh, we can also check out the leather, um, starting to soften up slightly, and we'll keep applying the, the leather conditioner to it. But, um, we'll just try it. darken up a little bit just need a light spray of it yep okay so that should be fine we'll place it onto the exterior now uh, I usually use uh, the water repellent um, that I've used in um, previous videos uh, we'll give this a go and see how this applies just need some light coats of it put it on all the areas of the hat that's why we've taken the puggery off So there we have it, and we've got the finished product. Uh, some of the stains didn't come out as best as I would have liked, and there was some damage to the brim there on the not to, so much to the brim, but the hat, the band on the brim. Um, that can be replaced though, so hatters can replace that. But uh, overall, it come up really, really well. Um, you know, and you wouldn't think it by you know comparing it to what it did look like initially before we started the whole process to what it is now. Um, just, just amazing. So the long, the I mean, as a as a takeaway, as a conclusion, there the, the longest period of time that you it takes is just waiting for it to dry in between uh, the dunks in the water and um, waiting it to harden when using the hardening products. So there you go. Happy with that. And I hope Ben likes it. It'll be a display hat for him, um, and it'll go well with one of our. Um, Ash application, slouch hat, press and carriers. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Good day, y'all. Just one last thing. So, this is Benno's original hat, which is the size 53. And the last hat that I got for him was a size 60. So, how did that happen? <laughs>